Oi, oi, as you can see, there's a lot of changes that have happened. We're gonna be looking at this roof. If you've been following, you would have remembered all this area here it used to be the patio, which they had renovated a little bit into like a bedroom. Not the greatest, dodgy roof, sunken slab, and realistically wasn't up to livable conditions. The roof was too low, so it wasn't considered a bedroom. It's gotta be at least 2.4 meters high, and I think it was about 2,100. And if you remember, we had a heap of problems with getting this skillion roof, which is almost flat. It's got a two to three degree slant so that the water will come off. That's to the regs. And the main problems were gonna be drainage. So as you can see here, we've actually put a bulkhead just in here. And this is the box gutter. So I had to drop it a fair bit down. We put a massive one in just so that it allows all the water to get out. But as you can see, we are 2.4 to the bedroom ceiling. This is a bedroom. So I'll show you the skillion roof. So as you can see, that's the skillion roof there. Only a slight slant, but enough to get the water off. So this is what we're looking at here. And then we have also started spraying the tiles. So we have got a contractor to come out. He cleaned it, started to repoint, and also started to spray. I think we're gonna look at changing a few tiles though. Looks like a few of them are broken. As you can see, the uh, V-Luxes are sitting tight. But yeah, all through here was the main problem. All down there and all down there. So through here, we have got these sheets right back up here somewhere. And then this part, this is how we join the two, the skillion roof and the tile roof. So obviously it's on that two to three degree slope there. And then this comes up and marries up with the same slope as the original ceiling or the, the original roof. As you can see, we've got a massive lip there, just so if there is any wind, it's not gonna blow the water up and then in. So that goes up to most of the whole tile. And obviously that tile sits on there. And then as we come down here, this is the box gutter. So as you can see, she's pretty large. And that actually does the same thing. So that actually comes up and then goes under and then has a lip on it. So it's mostly up the full tile. And then we've put another piece just on there, which catches everything. So that goes in under half the tile, has another lip and then joins up with that valley. Got all the barge capping, I believe it's called. So all of this was done by an actual plumber. So I'm just going over basically what I was told and what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm not certified in any of this, so don't take my word for any of this. It's literally just what we've done. So this goes the whole way along, slides over both the roof sheets, then goes over two of those. You've got one there, one there, and then comes down and joins onto that. All of this is going to get fixed and then sprayed. They're gonna come down, Finish that and finish the capping. And that's where the piping will go. We've got to see where we're going to take that, most likely across and then out to the street. So down this end was the other hard one, but we ended up getting it. Obviously our timber framing came up to here and then just dropped down. So there's a sheet under there and that sits on top. That's all riveted. Got to just clean that up, just a few mark. And then obviously that also goes in. It comes out to about here and then you've got another lip which goes up and then uh, joins up with the other one there. So overall it came up pretty nicely. We've just got to put another cap down there for the gutter and then that'll head out that way. But overall it was a bit of a pain, but both the chippy Brendan and the plumber Steve absolutely smashed it out, sort of worked it in together, figured it out and yeah, just sort of made it work. We're looking at on the outside still. Still got to finish all of that. We've started doing blue board on the outside. Just started there, just gets tucked in under the flashing. But it's got to come around, around there, up, fully surrounding the, um, the eaves there. And then obviously gutter 
we'll go along. And then this, we'll, uh, not sure. I think at the moment we might come down the wall and I might even chase through there and go down to the street. It's either that or we go along the roof, but I don't want to compromise any ceiling height. the roof almost done we've obviously started plastering and all that sort of stuff it's all sealed inside all locked up which is fantastic but other than that we've been going really well i'm back at work which is why not much content has been coming out on youtube it was an absolute relief to get to this stage now that we have the plaster and i'm going to be doing other videos for most of that i didn't get too much content of the plaster unfortunately because that was the transfer back to work but there's a lot more videos to come out on the insulation uh, the electrical the lighting all the joinery that's been the massive part at the moment we've spent a few weeks on the weekends doing that now but we are getting closer and closer but yeah it feels absolutely fantastic to be there at this point we're only a couple of months away and i can't wait to show you the transformation <laughs>